like see um, here I'll, I'll give you a derivation uh, that uh, why the coordinates of vertex of the parabola are minus b by 2a comma minus d by 4a right so when we draw parabola we use this formula the formula through which we can find coordinates of vertex now how we get to this formula how we found that uh, the coordinates of vertex are minus v by 2a and minus d by 4a for that like uh, let let fx be a quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c and we will express fx in perfect square form for that we take a common x square plus b by a x plus c by a in the next step we write we multiply with 2 and we divide by 2 and we are doing this because we want this term to act as 2ab term in perfect square then we know when we say a plus b whole square it is a square plus b square plus 2ab so this term will play the role of 2ab will act as 2ab so there should be 2 outside that's why we multiply with 2 and divide with 2 and also we add b square by 4a square and we subtract b square by 4a square again to, to for this term will play the role of b square in the formula and c by a is as it is now you, no, you can see we have x square we have 2 a b right and we have this so it's like we can express this in perfect square form x plus b by 2 a whole square and then multiply a with the remaining term so it's like take lcm b square minus 4 a c divide by 4 a so we get fx equals to this perfect square term and then we have minus d by 4a now you can see this vertex the property of this vertex is uh, you can see <coughs> how we graphically represent this vertex this vertex is represented as a point in the parabola which is let us make a case where a is greater than 0 when a is positive parabola opens up you know you can see that this point is the lowest point in the parabola bottommost point in the parabola now you know this is positive right and this we need to find the lowest value of fx lowest point means the lowest y coordinate you know the range of this is minus d by 4a comma infinity right the minus d by 4a comma infinity so the values of y starts from minus d by 4a and that goes to infinity so minus d by 4a is the minimum value y can take minus d by 4a is the minimum value y can possess now you can see we need to find this value we need to find the coordinates of this point means we need to uh, find this value minus d by 4a right so so i'm just explaining you though minus d by form form which so this is you can say y min you can say so we need to find this y min don't say it minus d by 4a because we still have to derive it let's say this y min we need to find this y min so 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 we need to see how when this fx will possess minimum value how we can make this minimum when a is positive when a is positive and you know this perfect square is always positive a positive a minus uh, d by 4a so when this can possess minimum value this is constant you can see this is constant this cannot change with x this cannot change with x only this can change with x which is positive so this expression can take minimum value when this positive part is zero and minimum value positive when this positive part is zero because when this positive part is minimum i can say when this positive part is minimum the minimum will the poor expression minimum will be constant hai. Ye change ho hai. right this is constant it cannot change this cannot change it is constant so only this part can change so if you have to find the minimum of the whole then we have to find minimum of this part and minimum of this part is zero because it's a positive quantity and positive quantity can can be a non i say non-negative quantity this can be zero only when this this part is zero so we put x plus b by 2a equal to zero so this minimum thing will happen when x equal to minus b by 2a and what is the minimum value minimum to hoka like what is the minimum value when what is the fx min or y min it is it's zero dal diya so we get minus d by 4a so that's how we get the coordinates of the vertex x coordinate is minus p by 2a when this minimum thing will happen and the y coordinate is minus d by 4a when this minimum thing will happen so this is your x coordinate and this is your y coordinate and we get the coordinates this we get the coordinates of vertex as this now we can uh, <coughs> 
so we can let's let's, let's if a is less than zero so it's almost the same when a is negative this part is negative parabola opens down like now we have to find the y max the maximum value y can possess when parabola is opening down because that's a vertex the highest point the y is taking highest point on the parabola highest value y is possessing so when this is negative this is you can say always positive so this time we have to see when this is maximum when this is maximum so again this is the same thing you know uh, let me some make space here I can make space here so you can see y equals to this is negative this is positive and this is minus d by 4a now this can achieve maximum the more negative you will make right the more negative uh, sorry this if you more negative this you will make this the y will become less less value now y will be maximum when this negative part is maximum and the maximum value of this negative part is zero because whole expression is negative into positive is negative in negative in negative one right? negative minus d by 4a and this negative part can take maximum value we have to maximize this this negative part can take maximum value when it is zero right negative means non positive it can be zero or it can be negative so negative uh, maximum kya hoga iska maximum zero hoga iska right otherwise to up or agar if you uh, it, it because this can this expression can take value zero minus one minus two minus three goes on out of this the maximum is zero so maximum value it can take is zero so again we put this equal to zero again we put x plus b by 2a equal to zero when we get x equal to minus b by 2a so if parabola opens down a is negative for this expression for y to be maximum again this part should be zero this positive part should be zero this x plus b by 2a should be zero so we get x equal to minus b by 2a and correspondingly y max equal to minus d by 4a so you can see the coordinates of vertex whether parabola opens down or parabola opens up are the same the formula is same minus b by 2a comma minus d by 4a